Welcome to Curio Clips channel. It's impossible to imagine our planet without its ocean. But what if I told you that the moon was responsible for not only shaping our seas, but also driving the evolution of life itself? This may sound far-fetched, but it's actually true. The moon has had a profound impact on our oceans and the creatures that live there in ways we re only just beginning to understand. In this video, we LL dive deep into the fascinating relationship between the moon and our oceans and explore how lunar cycles have shaped the rhythm of life on Earth. Make sure to stick around until the end, because some of these facts will blow your mind. Earth without an ocean. First, let's take a journey back in time before the moon existed. Our young Earth was a hot, molten mass. Over billions of years, it cooled and a solid crust formed, but it didn't have any oceans like we know them today. Instead, it had a thin atmosphere with wisps of water vapor and other gases. There were no large bodies of liquid water on the surface. The game changer came when the Earth began to cool enough to retain water in its lakes and seas. But how did these ancient oceans form? Scientists believe that much of the Earth's early water came from comets and asteroids. These icy visitors bombarded the planet, delivering water and other vital ingredients to the mix. As the Earth continued to cool, more and more water vapor from the atmosphere condensed and fell to the surface as rain. Over millions of years, this process filled the basins that would become our oceans. The early Earth was very different from the world we live in today. The atmosphere had much higher levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. This made the Earth warmer than it is now and allowed liquid water to exist even though it was bombarded by deadly ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Enter the Moon. How the Moon Formed According to NASA, the Moon is believed to have formed about 4.5 billion years ago, just 20 to 30 million years after the Earth came into existence. The prevailing theory is that a Mars-sized planet called Theia collided with the young Earth. This cataclysmic event ejected a massive amount of debris into space. Over time, this debris coalesced to form the Moon. This collision theory is supported by computer simulations and the fact that both the Earth and Moon are mostly made of rock and metal, similar in composition but different in density. Initially, the Moon was much closer to Earth and much larger. It started out as a thick, hot ball of magma. As it cooled, it shrank, which caused the denser materials to sink towards its core and the lighter materials to rise to the surface. Eventually, it settled into a layered structure with a solid inner core, a liquid outer core, a mantle, and a crust. Shaping the tides. One of the most well-known effects of the moon is its influence on the tides. The gravitational pull of the moon and sun causes the ocean water to bulge out on the side of the earth facing the moon. This bulge is what we call high tide. On the opposite side of the earth, another high tide occurs due to the inertia of the water. The areas between these bulges experience low tides. As the earth rotates, Different locations pass through these tidal bulges, experiencing high and low tides approximately every 26 hours and 2 days, which is the length of time it takes the Earth to rotate 27 times. However, the Moon isn't solely responsible for these tidal variations. The Sun also plays a significant role. When the Sun and Moon line up during new and full moons, their gravitational forces combine to cause extra high tides known as spring tides. Conversely, during the first and third quarter moons, the sun and moon's gravitational forces partially cancel each other out, resulting in lower high tides and higher low tides called neap tides. Beyond high and low tides, the moon's gravitational pull also influences other ocean phenomena. For example, it affects the strength and direction of currents, causing upwelling and downwelling that bring nutrients to the surface waters. These movements support phytoplankton growth, forming the basis of marine food webs. Additionally, the moon's influence extends to the behavior of marine organisms. Many creatures use the tides to navigate, find food, or reproduce. For instance, some animals like fiddler crabs build burrows in the moist sand at low tide, only to retreat into those burrows as the tide comes in. The moon's gravitational force also causes ocean water to be pulled toward the poles and away from the equator, a phenomenon known as ocean debulking. This, in turn, affects global weather patterns, including the formation of hurricanes and other tropical storms. Tidal power. Humans have long been fascinated by harnessing the moon's influence on the tides to produce clean energy. Tidal power plants use the predictable rise and fall of tides to generate electricity. 
These plants typically consist of a barrage or dam built across an estuary or coastal lagoon. As the tide rises, water flows in through a controlled opening or turbine, driving a generator to produce electricity. One notable tidal power plant is the Siwa Lake Hydropower Station in South Korea. This plant was constructed in the 1990s and is one of the largest in the world. Another impressive project is the Annapolis Royal Generating Station in Nova Scotia, Canada. This plant features a unique tidal turbine design that can capture the energy of both incoming and outgoing tides. Tides in life. As mentioned earlier, the moon's influence on tides has a profound impact on life in the oceans. The rhythmic rise and fall of water levels shape the habitats of countless species. Intertidal zones, the areas between high and low tide marks, are particularly influenced by these lunar cycles. Creatures living there must adapt to constant change, dealing with fluctuating oxygen levels, salinity, and the risk of being left stranded as the tide goes out. Mussels, sea stars, anemones, crabs, and other organisms have evolved various strategies to thrive in these challenging conditions. Some, like mussels, use their strong threads to anchor themselves to rocks, while others like sea stars can move quickly to stay submerged. The rhythmic cycle of tides also affects the behavior of marine animals. Many creatures use the tides to hunt for food or find mates. For instance, certain shorebirds feed on the vast array of life exposed during low tide. Meanwhile, fish and invertebrates release their eggs and sperm into the water column in timed synchronized events, increasing the chances of successful reproduction. Coral reefs. Coral reefs, among the most diverse ecosystems on Earth, owe much of their existence to the moon. The delicate balance of temperature, salinity, and light that corals require for growth is influenced by tidal currents and the moon's position relative to the sun. These factors affect the amount of sunlight reaching the reefs and the rate at which fresh water is added to the ocean. Both are crucial for coral health and survival. Moreover, the moon's cycle impacts the behavior of herbivorous fish that graze on algae growing on coral reefs. These fish help keep the algae under control, preventing it from smothering the corals. The timing of their grazing is often tied to lunar phases, ensuring the delicate balance of the reef ecosystem is maintained. Plankton. Microscopic organisms called plankton drift in the ocean's currents, forming the foundation of the marine food web. Their abundance and distribution are influenced by the moon's gravitational pull and the resulting tides. Plankton, especially phytoplankton, play a vital role in absorbing carbon dioxide and producing oxygen through photosynthesis. The moon's effect on ocean currents helps transport these tiny creatures throughout the water column, influencing the productivity of the entire marine ecosystem. The vertical migration of zooplankton, which feed on phytoplankton, is also influenced by tidal cycles. At night, they often rise to the surface to feed, then retreat to deeper waters during the day to avoid daytime predators. This behavior is thought to be partly driven by the cover of darkness during the lunar night, allowing the zooplankton to forage more effectively. The future of the moon. While the moon has shaped life on Earth for billions of years, its influence may change in the future. Astronomers predict that in about 50 billion years, the sun will expand, engulfing the Earth and ending life as we know it. But don't worry, we've got plenty of time to enjoy the moon's wonders before then. In conclusion, our moon is much more than a beautiful celestial body. It is a powerful force that has shaped our oceans and the life they support. From tides and currents to the abundance of plankton and the behavior of marine organisms, the moon's influence is felt throughout the marine ecosystem. As we continue to explore the depths of our oceans and unravel the mysteries of the natural world, we'll undoubtedly discover even more ways in which the moon affects the rhythm of life on Earth. Its presence has been a driving force in the evolution of our planet, and we are fortunate to witness its wonders today.